Today, you're going to learn what's probably the number one secret of excellent readers. So what is the number one secret of excellent readers? It's first looking for the root and then finding the prefixes before the root and the suffixes after. So here we have the root able with a long A sound. Now we've added a prefix. So we have unable, disable, disabled, disabling, enabling. Notice that when we add a suffix that starts with a vowel, this E gets dropped. Here we have the root no with a silent K and OW having the O sound. We can add the suffix and we have knowing, known, unknown, unknowingly. Here we have hospital. Notice that AL at the end of a word usually sounds more like ul rather than al. So we can add the suffix eyes and we have hospitalize. Now we can add this and we have hospitalization. Notice when we go from hospitalize with a long I, hospitalization with a short I. I'd like to point out that although the root is hospital with the ul sound here, as soon as we add itty, it becomes hospitality where this syllable is accented. Here we have a root vantage, which means profit. This right here is actually a suffix. And although the word by itself would be age, the suffix is pronounced more like idge. So we've added a prefix. We have advantage, disadvantage, advantageous. Notice that when we add the us, this A takes on a long A sound. Let me point that out again. We have advantage versus advantageous disadvantaged. Here's our root class. Classic, classical, classy, subclass, classification. Port is a root that means carry. OR says OR. So we can start adding prefixes and suffixes. Deport, importing, exported, important, reporter. We can add more prefixes and suffixes to the root port. Transport, unimportant, support, opportune, opportunity. Notice that when we add this suffix, the E gets dropped. Here's our root school with CH having its K sound and the double O having the OO sound. Schooling, schoolable, preschooler, unschool. Here we have the root compute, which itself has the prefix com in it. Computer, computation, computational. Here we have another root compete, which has a prefix in it. Com, compete, Competition. Notice that when we start adding suffixes to the root compete, this long E becomes a short E sound. So we have compete, competition, competitive, competitor, competent, incompetent. Here we have shrink. SH says sh. sh to shrink means to make smaller. So we have shrinkage, unshrinking, unshrinkingly, shrinkable, unshrinkable. OW says ow in this word, crowd, overcrowding, undercrowded. Here we have the root point with OI saying oi. We can add the suffix and it becomes a point. Notice that A at the beginning of a word often schwas or takes on a short U sound. Appointment, disappoint, pointy, pointless. Here we have the root act, action, active, activate, activation, activity, actor, Activism, actual, notice the long U sound, actually, actuality. Here's our root gram, diagram, notice the A schwas. Program, programmer, programming, telegram. Here we have elect with a long E, election, elector, electoral, electorate. Notice that the suffix A-T-E takes on a muffled schwa sound of uh or i rather than a clear long A sound because suffixes are rarely accented in English words. Here we have a root comment, which has a prefix com in it. Commenting, commentary, note the long A. Commentate, commentator. Here we have a root subject, which has a prefix in it. Subjective, resubjection. What does that word mean? It doesn't matter, you can read it even if you don't know what it means. Subjectable, subjectiveness. Here we have the root face, interface, deface. Notice the C has its soft sound of s because it's followed by an E. Defacing, this E gets dropped when we add a suffix starting with a vowel. Defacement. Here we have bark, embark, debark, debarked, disembarking, embarkation. 
All right, I want you to try these on your own. See if you can spot all the prefixes and suffixes in these words. Don't worry about if you don't know what they mean. Just see if you can read them. Here we go. Compunctionless, descriptionless, perspectiveless, non-controllable, non-reimbursable, semi-respectable. Semi can also be pronounced semi, so it could be semi-respectable. I want you to try these on your own and in the comments list how many prefixes and suffixes you can find in these six words. These three and the next three. So in the comments, put the number and which prefixes and suffixes you found in the video. If you found this useful, please be sure to share it with friends who have kids who are learning to read.